So I would encourage all of us to think about preaching not only as proclamation, though it is that, but also as prayer for our congregation and as pastoral attentiveness and pastoral care for our congregation. Um, And when I um, sit down to the text with the concerns of my congregants that week in mind, that becomes the lens through which I read. So, for example, um, on the sixth Sunday of Easter this, this past year, which was also Mother's Day, the state in which I live, North Carolina, had just passed an amendment banning same-sex marriage. So many of the families with small children in my church are two women families. And um, one of the readings was about being parented by God. And it seemed clear to me when I um, began to think about what this sermon needed to be that this was a pressing pastoral need in my community that week. And um, that doesn't mean that the sermon became polemical and it doesn't mean that the sermon you know, was in some way about politics and not about the scriptures. It meant that the sort of widespread pressing pain that was in my community that week was one of the lenses, and I would say the primary lens through which I was reading the text, and I had that pain in mind when I wrote. Um, And so it was pastoral care. Preaching the sermon was pastoral care, and writing the sermon um, was a way of praying for those families in my congregation that were hurting.